WTF 112 pound championship against hard hitting Glenn Donaire, AKA the Filipino bomber. Well, Al, it's very difficult for Victor Chinian to be in anything but mm -hmm. an exciting fight, and this one has the elements of an all-action affair. It really does. You know, Victor Chinian has a seek-and-destroy kind of mentality, and he does it more like a heavyweight than a flyweight. He's very economical with his punches. He's willing to take a couple of punches to give one, and then you throw into that mix Glenn Donaire, the 26-year-old, with an aggressive style, quick hand speed, and a guy who also does not like to go uh, backwards, so it could create a dream stylistic matchup. Now, for it to turn out that way, the onus, I think, is on the underdog Donaire to follow and execute his game plan perfectly. Donaire is an excellent body puncher, and he needs to do that early in hopes of getting to Darchinian later. If he lets his right hand dangle out there after throwing it, Darchinian will counter with his powerful left. Darchinian can throw a lazy jab, and if he does, Donaire needs to counter with his left hook. Donaire is tough enough and focused enough, even when a right hand lands, as this one does, to still counter with his own left hook. And this is the kind of execution he will need to win tonight. With his supreme confidence and great chin, Darchinian can ignore defense. Donaire is quick-handed, and he can take advantage of it. While he usually scores a knockout someday, Vic's slow pace will catch up with him if the fight goes to a decision as it might tonight. The jab and then the left hand is the ticket for him. It's what he likes to throw and what he does best. In this sequence, we see it twice. He uses the jab to set up that powerful left hand. This is his game, and even if it is repetitive, the one-two combination works for him. And he will use it over and over again. And it's his power that ends up being the deciding factor based on this one-two combination. From San Leandro, California, by way of the Philippines, the challenger, Glenn Donair, very engaging, affable, loose, extremely confident despite the, the daunting task. There's no denying the explosive Darchinian has more experience, a better level of opposition, but Donair, a face-first pressure fighter, with skills, but how can he pose problems for the champion? Well, you know, the feeling is that someday one of these fighters that gets in against Darchinian, who is quick-handed like Donaire is, who is aggressive like Donaire is, is going to back him up. And when that happens, how will Vic Darchinian respond? The Donaire people hope it'll be tight. A point to be made, though, is Donaire is stepping way up in class from the people he has been against. And right now he's responding to the, the crowd. Comes off an impressive win on Showbox over a quality guy, Cesar Lopez. And since a stunning first-round TKO loss to Z Gores, he's 3-0-1. An admitted workaholic, just bursting with energy, told us he recently left his job as a bus driver for handicapped children to devote full-time to training for this huge career-altering fight. Not your typical southpaw. He hears it from the crowd. A lot of fans here for the Lord of the Flies, undefeated champion Victor Chinian, an awkward, unorthodox power puncher from Armenia who became an Australian citizen. He said he'd have thousands of people from Los Angeles, from the Armenian communities in L.A. here to support him. To say he is ultra-confident is a colossal understatement, Al. He asked us in the fighter meeting yesterday, what round should he knock out Donaire? I think we said, how about the six or seven to give us at least some time to have some fun? You know, he, he is an astonishingly confident guy. Some would say arrogant. And as again, people wonder, will that get to him at a certain point where he simply looks past an opponent so much that he loses? Uh, the question is, will it be tonight? Well, he's no longer with uh, Jeff Fennick, the former world champion who was his trainer after a falling out. Fennec often said Vic's biggest problem was overconfidence. And to this point, he has backed up almost everything he said he would do. He insists he'll knock out Donaire. 21 of his 26 wins are by KO, including his last 
eight fights. And right now, let's check the numbers as we go to the tail of the tape at 26. Donaire is four years younger than Darchinian, just a slight edge in height for Darchinian and a one and a half inch reach advantage for the champion. At yesterday's weigh-in, Darchinian right on the mark at 112. Donaire a pound under at 111. Key unified rules for this world title bout. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt causes a fight to end within four rounds, it's a no decision. After four, they go to the scorecards. If a punch causes a cut and the injured fighter can't continue, he loses by TKO. So here at the Mandalay Bay Event Center, we're getting ready for Victor Chittian versus Glenn Donaire for the IBF Flyweight Championship. We get the formal introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the beautiful Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as we have a big night of action coming away. And it's all brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions in association with the Mandalay Bay, MGM's Rocky Balboa, and Showtime. This bout coming away is the first of our world title attractions. It is sanctioned by the IBF, President Marion Muhammad, Supervisor Aaron Kaiser, the IBO, President Ed Levine, Supervisor Philip Austin, and the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Dr. Tony Alamo. Introducing our three judges, scoring this bout from ringside, from Reno, Nevada, Bert Clements. From Fern Bay, New South Wales, Australia, Seth Perkins. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Glenn Trowbridge. Introducing our third man in the ring, working in this his 30th world title bout, Tony Weeks. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF and IBO Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first the challenger on my left. He is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks and fighting out of San Leandro, California by way of General Santos City, Mindanao in the Philippines. He weighed in at 111 pounds with a record of 16 wins, two losses and one draw. He has nine wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the NABA and NAB champion who tonight is making his first attempt at a world title here is the 15th ranked challenger known as the Filipino bomber introducing Glenn opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with multicolor trim, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, by way of Van Azor, Armenia. He weighed in at the flyweight limit of 112 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 26 wins, no losses, 21 big wins. Coming by way of knockout tonight, he is making the fifth defense of his title. Please welcome the IBF and IBO flyweight champion of the world, known as the Raging Bull, introducing Once again, here's our referee in charge of this bout, Tony Weeks, now to give instructions. Okay, gentlemen, you both receive your instructions in your dressing room. Okay, it goes right here, it's okay. Anything that's gonna be low. Right here is okay, anything that's gonna be low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourself at all times. Let's go. What could be a spicy appetizer, as we've said in the past, do not be fooled by their physical stature. Brash, cocky Victor Chinian, who brings a puncher's arrogance, a heavyweight 
uh, mindset, one of the heaviest hitters in boxing in any weight class. Also, not lacking for confidence, Glenn Donaire, a hard body puncher who calls Dar